Hi folks, Rick Barber here, Vice President of Sales for Berkshire Hathaway Home Services of Arizona, California, and Nevada. And today I want to talk about upping your game and maximizing this last third of the year. Okay, I have five points today. The first one is, look folks, they're buying you. How you look, what you say, your professionalism, if you have a brand or not. So that's important. That's why real estate, the personal touch will always be there. I, you know, that's why I recommend you wear a suit. You can't make a first impression twice. It's important and understand they are buying you. In real estate, you get paid for your time, what you say, what comes out of your mouth, how you look. Unfortunately, I mean, that's just the way it is. Okay, so just always remember they're buying you. You are on stage. It is showtime, however you want to say that. Okay, so that's my first point for today. The second one is, um, I would call it... Adopt a 50-50 rule. 50-50 rule means when you're talking to people, you're doing 50% or less of the talking, which means you're asking questions, you're listening, you're making it about them, always about them. My rule of thumb is I do not interject my opinion unless they ask me. If someone's in a buying situation and you start with, well, the last time, and you get their eyes, they don't, some of them are, you know, they're polite, they don't say anything, but they're thinking that, okay? so. Just don't talk about yourself. It's tough. You get excited. I understand. And if, but if they ask you your opinion, give it to them honestly. Just try that. It works tremendously. It was early on in my career. It was the toughest thing for me. But once you adopt it, it just works well. Next one is product knowledge. Number three on my list, product knowledge. You got to know what you're selling. You got to be comfortable with, especially if I'm involved in a farm or a market, whatever my area is I'm selling in, I know what's available. I know what's under contract. I know what has sold. I know my values. Every time I go on a listing appointment, anything that's for sale around that, I'm viewing that. You need to be an expert of the product that you're selling, and that's real estate people's homes. Also, like with our company, you need to be an expert of the stuff that we offer. What's in the VAC, Virtual Agent Center? What's in the Resource Center? Will help you tremendously in your marketing and prospecting efforts. Okay? So product knowledge is very important. Number four on my list is seek motivation. Okay? Not just you being motivated, I'm talking about your client's motivation. Where they're going, how soon they need to be there, what's important about it. People are moving. It is the, in the top five most stressful things you can do in life, moving. All right, so you need to understand that and make it all about them and keep it, keep it, keep it on their motivation. And, all right, like as a coach for our company, whenever people get into a hard time, you know, I was on this appointment and here's what happened. My first question is, whoa, 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 tell me where they're going. Well, that's the problem, they're not motivated. Well, that's your problem. Okay, you need to be spending your time with people that are doing something. It's the most frustrating part. This is the most, it's the best business in the world to be in if you're dealing with motivated people. If you're not, it is the most frustrating. You have no leverage. They don't really need you. Okay, it's entertainment. All right, so you gotta be dealing with motivated people. And the last one and the toughest one for most of us is keep it simple. That's why I think I was relatively good at real estate. It was simple. I have the unique ability to not overcomplicate anything. All right, and I think that's very important. Complicating real estate, which is a whole bunch of common sense, is simply a creative avoidance activity. It really means you just don't want to get going and get started. Keep it simple. You need to talk to people. There are only five lead sources, expired for sale by owners, just listed, just sold, which is really farming, okay? And your SOI. Talk to people every day. I was on a coaching call this morning, and this gentleman's goal is to talk to 20 people every day, and he hasn't been doing it. Sound familiar? And here's my question I asked him. Blank. If you actually talked to 20 people every day, since January to now, every day you were working, do you think your results would have been better? He said, absolutely. And there it is. Keep it simple. Talk to people. You're a salespeople, salesperson. Thanks for listening. Look forward to talking to you all soon. Thank you. Thanks for your time.